Hey guys, so today on Ramen Reviews, we are reviewing this noodle soup. Now normally I don't, normally you get this ramen and you can make it as a soup or as, you know, your normal bowl of noodles, uh, instant noodles. However, um, this is specifically a noodle soup, Cham Pong. Uh, it's by our good friends at Nong Sham, makers of extremely spicy ones, um, as from experience. Made in, made in Seoul, Korea. Uh, product of Korea Nong Shim. Um, the, I thought this was just like a zooming in thing to show the pattern of noodles, but it's actually like the, 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 the noodle block comes out in a circle. And uh, how you fit, so you're supposed to fit that into any sort of normal sized bowl or uh, cooking container. Uh, it says you're supposed to boil it on the hob for four and a half minutes. I've put it into the microwave for, for, the, for the, the same amount of time. Um, you rip, it, you rip it open at the top, and then the sort of side comes down of it, and you've got a packet of the flake, like the sort of meat stuff, and then you got a packet of the seasoning as well. Uh, you add that all in and uh, and cook it. Uh, normally I like to add the stuff after the fact, because I feel like some of the, some of the flavour and stuff gets boiled away uh, during, the boil, during the boiling and cooking process. Uh, the noodles, noodles are also that type of uh, wok fried thick ones as well sort of like a chow mein noodle, uh, rather than um, the normal thin noodles you get. However, we'll wait for this to finish in the microwave and then we shall, shall see. Uh, this was on the pricier end of the scale, um, I think this was about almost a pound fifty I paid for it, I think. I uh, can't remember that exactly, but it, but uh, you know, you're getting a lot, you're actually getting quite a lot of uh, material here, you know, you're getting a lot of, um, a lot of food in this, so Let's, let's wait till it comes out of the microwave and see what we've got. Okay, so it's coming out of the microwave. The very first thing you notice is that uh, these uh, huge bits of seaweed are in here. Now, I'm not a huge fan of seaweed. So I'll give it a stir like you're supposed to do. And um, as I say, I don't, I don't really like seaweed generally, but uh, I will try it obviously for the purposes of giving you a review. Um, if you like seaweed, then bam, you're you're in with luck with this thing. But uh, hmm, hmm. Now see, the, I mean, there's obviously a lot of seasoning in this. I'm not actually getting a lot of flavour off the noodles themselves, though. You know how? Mm, that's strange, that. Normally I like to, if I have a noodle soup, then I like the noodle to sort of take on the uh, the qualities of this of the seasoning. But uh, so see, that's just tasting like plain noodle with a little bit of spice at the at the at the aftertaste. And I guess the seasoning itself is quite nice, but uh, yeah, I'm not entirely. I suppose, probably, you would be sort of slurping this thing if you were in Korea. So you'd probably be getting more of the the seasoning flavour and the seaweed all at the same time. But obviously, British people don't generally eat like eat like that. So perhaps this one's getting lost on the uh, on the cultural side of, side of things in terms of eating. We wouldn't slurp up bowls like that. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, I mean, you get a lot for your money here. So in terms of value for money, it was quite good. Uh, and, and you're getting obviously the big pieces of cabbage here, the seaweed. You saw a little bit of uh, what I guess in this uh, Charles Sue pork. But uh, the flavour is not translating into the noodle very well. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely happy with that one. It's not even. You know how sometimes when you smell them, you get the, the spice kind of hits you in the face kind of thing. But this doesn't. It's kind of weak. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed with that, folks. If I'm honest. But uh, there you go. I'm gonna give that a two out of five. That's yeah. That's what I'm at with it. 